Okay, I got a Lexus uh, 2000 uh, RX 300. So I'm put a backup camera right here. The, we're going to make a hole right there. Take this screw out. And then it's going to come down here. It's going to run through here. And then it's going to come down here. And then it's going to go along the side right there. Go all the way to the screen right there. So hopefully I got long enough wire. So I'm going to try to remove everything the first thing i'll do i'll remove this uh light right there there's four screw four screw right there two four right there and then once you get that out well in order to pop that out you're gonna have to uh take like a flat hat right here and this spot right there you push it out and move alongside to the radio now when you pry it out there's clip right there there's one two three four so when you pry it out just be careful make sure you pry it around here and then here here and there because you don't want to pry the whole thing out you're going to break this uh, plastic you know it's hard to find if you break one good luck finding one so now what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to run the wire right there snake the wire through that <coughs> booth right there remove this out now once you remove it out, you need to cut this rubber right here so you can uh, snake it to down here. The same thing, you need to remove this out to just get you a flat head or prior and go right there and just pop it out. To pry it out, I will pry it right starting right here and pry it and then go eat a little bit at a time and pull it down and put on the side one side because i'm gonna run the wire that way so this thing the same way just pull it out a little bit of time try not to break it and then over here the same thing all this clips i would grab right here and pull it down once you pull this down it's easy to pull and you start one right here two three four five six so it should come down like so and then if it come loose like this just put it right back in this There's so many clips now, did I video that but anyway right here same thing start from here and go down out here so now after you pull everything out you want to run that wire down here and then shove it in there and then out that way and uh let me see where the backup signal is at backup signal is over here so it's perfect so it would be one of this wire right there i'm not sure if it's white and black or uh, red and black i'm gonna have to test that on reverse and then i'm gonna remove this uh phillips I'm gonna show you how to remove this Lexus uh, so what you want to do you want to start from here and start prying out right there and then you want to come over this way and pry it out easy uh, you can use a flat head for this and then you now you want to put the key in and turn it to the on position and shift it down to low drive right there low gear uh, let me step on the brake now right there and then now you're gonna need uh, to take this uh, 10 millimeter out and then you can pull it straight out So you, you put your one your hand right there and then kind of uh, take a flat head and pull it out right there something uh, so it won't damage this uh, something like what we got right here what I got is this kind it won't damage anything so this is perfect so once you get that out you can pry this out and you go behind it and unplug the wire I usually uh, remove this over here I don't want to take everything off I just keep it like that and then 
go in the back and unplug the wire. Now what I'm going to be installing is this uh, aftermarket uh, Android system 10.1 or 10.3 I believe. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I got the factory out here. So what I'm going to do is uh, this control the heat and everything. All of these going to be staying. So I'm going to have to remove all that from the behind. Uh, there's a screw if you look down here. I had to take all that out. So I'm going to remove all this Phillips right here, 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm going to remove all this 8 Phillips. Now after removing, I'm going to just pull this straight out like that, the screen. we I don't think we need this anymore. Uh, maybe, but I doubt it. Uh, so now I'm just going to go to the radio, ooh, the radio part. So I'm going to... I don't think I can use it one hand. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I had to have two hands to do this, and I didn't have my tripod, so. So I got that out, just come straight out, and then now I have to figure out this part right here. This is a tricky part, okay? So, uh, hmm. I have to figure out how this thing, this thing will control the, the heat and everything else there so I'm not sure yet guys bear with me on this one I might have to take all this screw out yes you're gonna have to remove all that this uh, screw out right there you're gonna need a zero dash uh, a zero time uh, 25 number zero time 25 Phillips right here Zoom it out, yep. So it's a small little Phillips. The focus is not that great because it's focused on something else. Just remove all four of them. Now, let's compare right there. I'm going to put the same uh, position so that way it's easier to explain. So there's three more right there. You have to take that out. Now I will remove all this screw right there all of them but make sure you're not damage any uh, of this uh, uh, conductor this uh, whatever you call that uh, electrical circuit I guess now after you get everything out you can just pull it pick it up straight like this with two hand I can't do it to show you but you just have to grab it and put it over here there, this clip right there, uh, one, two, three, that's holding everything. So you want to push it backwards so you can pull it out. I forgot to mention, I tried everything. It didn't want to come out right. So there's a middle one right there under the cassette right there. And that needs to be removed too. Now, once you get it out, you want to take piece by piece right here. And put it, ooh, don't drop it and put it right in this hole right there and do the same process. Now put it in and then start screwing these uh, middle one right there first. So I did have an issue. So uh, when I ordered this product, it said, uh, it said type A and type B, which I mine is type A. The system is type A if you look. The system is type A. All I had to do is take the sticker and put it on here. But the system is type A. So I got that right. But here's a problem though. Underneath in the picture. If you look at the picture of the order. Um, I'll show you on, on here later on. When I uh, edited this is, this setup. Uh, it said non. No, no, no. It said uninstall. What is uninstall in English? I mean, I'm not an American, but uh, I asked a few of my American friends. They said uninstall is not install, which is, I mean, it's not install. So, but that wording is just kind of confusing. I thought it was like, oh, it's not install yet. So that's what it is. And then I didn't really look at the X on the side. So if you're looking at the X on the side, so I, I send them a message. I say, uh, you mean uninstall is not compatible, which I, I, I know now that it's not compatible. So they should have said not compatible with the Nakamichi system because this car is Nakamichi. And then if it's just a regular Lexus, it'd be fine. It will work fine. But my main problem, I got everything hooked up. Everything come on. 
but the problem is the radio is not going to come on because if you look in the uh back of this 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 right here okay i'm going to show you an aftermarket uh harness okay let's say the aftermarket harness you see this red and yellow wire right here it should be on the bottom right but in this situation it's not it's not uh on the bottom so there's no uh it's opposite and so the radio is not on when you turn the key on so you're gonna have to bypass it and then you gotta have to put uh, an aftermarket uh amplifier system which is they already have it already right there so i'm glad they do have it but my concern is that i don't want to avoid the warranty i don't want to be actually hook it up the power come on but i mean it doesn't show the uh if it doesn't show the uh heater control and everything i'm kind of screwed right i'm i'm in a hole i'm a big hole so i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it and uh if not i'm gonna try to sell on ebay and uh not if if it is guys if you want to order something like this you want to make sure you get the right stuff and you want to make sure i'll send a link right here and tell you this is the right one you have because their wording is 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 something that i didn't understand i mean i should they should have said not compatible then i would be like oh okay well that's not compatible i'm not gonna buy that but i got you know it, i are in the hole already so i'm gonna I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to energize the power and see if it show the heat. If it show the heat, I'm good because I can make the factory an aftermarket amplifier work with this or hardwire the thing to the speaker. So I uh, will find out in a second. Good luck to me, right? And behind the seat right here is where you're going to have to bypass this and because of this is Nakamichi brand, uh, I, I guess the factory amplifier must be bad. So they uh, hardwired and they ran it to the uh, the uh, back where the amp. I'll show you where the aftermarket amp they installed it at. And uh, uh, to take this out, it's not easy. So you got like bolt one, two, three right there, and then you got one, two, and three. It's on the top right here. One, two, and three down here. And then to take all that out, you, as you can see, whoop, hey, this am is bad anyway. So you got one, two, three. So it's one, two, three right here. And then there's a uh, top one, like four of them on the top. So you got to take all that out, as you can see right here. So I'm not going to explain that. That's uh, a lot of uh, video to to access. So now what you want to do right now, you want to make sure you hook up the right speaker wire so you the front speaker wire front left front which is pink and violet you can see pink the way they install it they didn't do a what I like to do so see pink is positive and violet is negative and then the uh, left rear is black and yellow black is positive and yellow is negative right here and then you got the uh, right front is light green and blue. So light green is darker color. And then blue is negative right here. And then you got the right rear would be red and white. So you see red and white right here. So red is positive and white is negative. Uh, some professional install this, but uh, to be honest with you, uh, I mean they got it right but I mean this is not good right there the way they installed it right there so uh, that's the case so I'm gonna leave this like this I'm gonna unplug this part right there they don't need this piece anymore uh, I'm just gonna run the uh, jacks to the to the amp and then from the amp to the uh, stereo system right there and this is uh, more difficult to do basically uh, how to bypass an amplifier I should say, mention but yes I uh, going through I think I'm gonna spend at least a good four or five hours on this car because I'm doing remote start in the whole nine yard what I got here I kind of remove this thing by prying and then take a flat head and push this down and pop it up and then I hooked up the uh, flat head and push it through right here I'm gonna tie this thing right this loop it and then I'm gonna spray a W40 Oh, W40 right through here so it's more slippery uh, but I'm not gonna spray right now I'm not gonna video while I'm spraying so I'm gonna spray that and pull it lightly and slowly
what I did, I used duct seal. I screwed the hole about about uh, three quarter of an inch, uh, not 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 bigger than that, but duct seal it, and then I put the uh, license plate on top of that and at the camera. I almost got everything literally done, but uh, this is the, probably the hardest uh, install I've done because, uh, like I mentioned earlier about the, uh, <clears throat> actually I probably didn't, uh, about the Nakamichi, it would not work with this one, okay? When it say uninstall in Chinese language, it means not compatible. So if you see Nakamichi right here, it's not the right one, so don't buy it if you have a Nakamichi system, okay? Uh, that's one I want I want to warn you, because I spent literally, well, I did remote start, backup camera, and amp install, four channel amp install, so it was kind of difficult, so I cannot really explain how to install this, but the installation is pretty simple, you know, you take this two bolt right there, four right there, and then you pull it out open and then when you put it back in after you plug all the wire, the uh, GPS and everything like that and the uh, antenna and everything, the plug is plug and play so it should be good. Once you plug it in all of this will work. If it doesn't work just press info. And then uh, you cannot mount this piece right here. You're gonna have to uh, have a, like a tool like oscillating tool right I have right there. You need to cut the piece behind this right there about this you understand once you see it but it's it's pretty difficult for if you uh have what i have because i cannot access with the uh uh the seller the seller doesn't really speak english so it's kind of pretty tough so be careful what you buy and then this type is type a you can see the the look like that that's called type a and then type b look a little bit different so be careful what you buying so right now I'm going to pop this sticker right there and put it back in and then I'm going to play it and show you a little bit of it. So here, that's what it looked like after you pull the sticker and put back on here. So you just take a little bit flat hat right here and push from behind. That's a flat hat right there. Push from behind of it and then it should pop out. I'm not sure how long this sticker is going to last. I didn't want to put the glue and get it stuck. Let the customer deal with that. I turned the volume down uh, so there wouldn't be uh, any problem with YouTube uh, so you want to click home right there so if I put on reverse right now it should work to reverse right there the setting for the reverse and then put it back I'm gonna go to the setting I mean let's say I'm gonna turn the heat on right so the heat on and then I can turn it down right there the heat you see the heat's coming on so I want to click this right here see it, it changed it itself all right there turn that off you know whatever you want to do right there everything works normal and if you don't see this button you need to click on info right there so I don't know if this one work or not but uh, anyway you want to click down on here you got Bluetooth you got navigation you got everything else in there so you want to pull it down you want to connect to your wi-fi you can click on the wi-fi and play that you want to make sure you can hook up an amp i had a problem earlier where the amp doesn't come on you need to come here the setting right here and turn the car amplifier on for the amp to come on with this thing bluetooth setting and then clean up video and all this other stuff right there I'm, I'm not gonna go to details on it now if you want to change the uh, sound you want to move up here sound recorder sound effect so you can uh, adjust all that stuff and whatever it is I, I'm not sure whatever whatever it is and you can play that yourself and customer can play with that so it just you want to click on YouTube and you want to lock on Wi-Fi just click on that right there and everything else working fine and like I said reverse working and speaker sounds good and I'm happy but the work that I'm doing it take forever to get it done so guys I want to remind you this this right here Nakamichi do not buy it if you do not know how to do a four channel aftermarket amp do not buy it it will not work you want to see only Lexus right there nothing with Nakamichi okay and that's the only way it work 
so uh that's it well thanks for watching guys and if you are gonna try to do this uh, attempt to do this yourself i would not recommend it but if you are a professional yes but don't forget right here you gotta have to cut right there and other than that it's it's pretty easy it's basic install but just to get uh behind this right here to to take all the screw out and put on the new uh put all the screw back to this new uh uh this this dash right there those that was difficult oh i dropped one of the stick already i don't know where they at